Um, I don't like Ryan Reynolds at all. It's an absolute cock. Like I would do like a medieval Trump, like a fantasy movie Trump. Like, the, you know what? The king is doing nothing about the gigantic dragon. We've got this giant dragon that nobody's doing anything about. <laughs> And, you know, the guy who comes through in the morning, he does the swords, and he's, he's banging the hammer. And I said, you know what, if I could just... Believe me, this is true. Only I can get the amulet. <laughs> Only I can get the amulet, and that wizard is... We're gonna make that wizard's head spin. <laughs> when I have the enchanted sword, we're gonna plunge that enchanted sword straight into the dragon's soft underbelly. She said today, she goes, what are you going to wear for Ellen? And I said, you know, I'm gonna wear... She goes, is it cocktail? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm wearing, like, trousers. But cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that cocktail. She goes, I will wear something tight and like a dolce, maybe, but it will have fruit on it or flowers, so you know it's for the day. It's not <laughs> cocktail. It's Paul McCartney on Mars. Dad? <laughs> well, I didn't know it'd be so red. And I kept thinking, where's William Shatner? You know, whale in trouble. You bring in Bill Shatner. <laughs> Humphrey. Humphrey. Listen to me. Time and space. You're taking up valuable time and space. <laughs> I love film. I love women. I love wine. I love kangaroos. Hey, <laughs> why not? I heard that he had seen it, like his agent had come up to me and said, Al saw it. I kind of yeah. freaked out that I was going to, you know, come at my door or something like, open up! Well, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm here! Come on, baby! But as supposedly he said, uh, it's good. That has happened to me before. Arnold Schwarzenegger enjoys a sandwich. <laughs> my favorite, he actually said this when we did in the sketch, is he was talking <laughs> to a woman and he said, uh, uh, this woman said, you know, my husband was missing and we didn't know where he was, and the cops, two days later, they found his car, and they looked in the trunk, and, um, and he was in the trunk. And Keith Morrison said, was he all right? <laughs> 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 she was like, no, he was dead. He yeah. went, oh, no. <laughs> That's terrible. Dustin Hoffman. Oh, oh. You're in good company. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. He's very funny. <laughs> yeah. But... He's got one eye almost shut like that. See, here it is. Now, Christmas season, isn't this nice? I love those Christmas songs. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Now, what the hell is a red-nosed reindeer? <laughs> a reindeer with a drinking problem, I swear. <laughs> now, I just adore it here, and so do all my kids, so does Mar. I, I love Ross Perot at a press conference. Didn't you love when he gets to, hey, but what, how, do you have any evidence? What? You're not listening to one word I'm saying, are you? <laughs> I told, you want a sound bite? Is that what you want? You want a little, little sound bite, a little something to, to put in your press store there? Is that what you want, see? See, is that what you like, huh? Now, the deficit, see, the deficit is like a crazy ant down the basement, no one paying attention to her. And she is just getting on rear and stink here. You catch me? I say, take her out, slap her around, and hose her down. I have a song for you. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> Come on, Ellen, don't you know this song? Up above the world so high. One more clue. Okay. Oh, I like to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> okay, I don't play the saucy man. You can send me here, you can send me there. There's nothing that you can do to me that Castro hasn't already done. Any Carson say? <laughs> now that makes the, me laugh. Is the secret to a good that, impression? Uh, a lot of it is in the jaw. If you want to do Johnny Carson, for those of you who want to do Johnny, <laughs> why your jaw shut? Barack Obama starts an outboard motor. Hold on, Michelle. Hold on. Let me get the motor. No, 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 no. Just, just let me do it now. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. What if Michael Jackson was a pimp? Should be him and Tito be riding around in a Cadillac and shit. <laughs> Slow down, Tito. <laughs> Slow down, Tito. Damn. <laughs> Is that my hoe over there sitting on the curb? <laughs> Let me out. Come here, girl. <laughs> I said, come here, girl. <laughs> For my money, how much you got? You 
you're with him and all of a sudden you find yourself kind of like leaning back. Uh, you lean back, you talk, you know, you maybe don't enunciate as much, but sometimes you do, you enunciate intentionally. I just think it's fun when you get to the point where you spend enough time with him, you know how to riff as him. Oh, yeah. football. Football. And I like the St. Tennessee Titans, <laughs> the Patriots, God bless America. <laughs> and pour a game, sit down, play a little ball, maybe break a sweat first, have the kids, children, family, intentions. Uh, when you win, you go up and you, you're doing your acceptance speech. Work in a little Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> How, how, how would that go, for example? Oh, my God. Uh, uh, well, I'd sure like to say thank you to everybody here. Uh, I, I, I really... I, I wasn't expecting this at all. And uh, that's real cool. I'd just like to say to Kristoff, I thought, I thought you were going to win, and I voted for you, too. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of turned into Bill Clinton. No, that... And then he said to me, he said, he said uh, uh, I have a, a, a song that, that I think that you would be great on uh, if we could go uh, to the studio and do uh, that song. I said, man, what? I'm trying to get in the music business. Let's go. Cause we, we go in the studio, and he says, the song uh, goes, uh, she says she wants some Marvin Gaye, some Luther Vandross. I said, I got it, I got it, I got it. She says she wants some Marvin Gaye and some... He said, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, well, I, I, you know, you don't know, you don't know R&B. See, I'm an R&B singer. See, I got to put the R&B thing on it. See, I got to do that. He said, uh, don't do that. <laughs> he said, just sing it simple because it's, you know, it's hip hop. And I was like, all right. So I sung it begrudgingly, thinking this song is whack. He's not gonna make it. It's, it's not gonna work, right? So I left. I come back and I'm in Miami, and my boy was like, yo, remember that song you said was whack? It's number one in the country. You went up at the end, like, yes. you, like you watch Australian Did you see what soaps. I did on my face? Come, come, Mr. Bond, you get just as much pleasure from killing as I do. I did not do that. I watched what I... This is what I did. I used my body. Watch this. Come, come, Mr. Bond, you get just as much killing from pleasure. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> and so, we hand it back so to Steve we Coogan. Back to Steve Coogan. <laughs> Steve, uh, pleasure from killing. You have 30 seconds starting now. Come, come, Mr Bond. You get just as much pleasure from killing as mm. I do. Interrupted by Paul Merton. Oh, I don't know. Why is he doing that? When I kill, I kill for Queen and Country. <laughs> Though I admit, killing you would be a pleasure. Come, come, Mr Bond. You get just as much pleasure from killing as I do. Well, he caught, uh, Baba, gong ding ba ga ding Got a little tongue twister there. <laughs> Uh, if you won, why can't Dana Coffey talk at the White House? <laughs> Wrong! Okay. You don't do Woody, do you? Well, i tell you what. Ask me uh, if I, if I want to go fishing. This is my favorite story. Would you, would you like to go fishing? <laughs> Actually, without sounding a bit didactic, I think it's extremely important we analyze this little request of yours. Uh, uh, first of all, I don't like fishing, you know, because you have to pack. And I'm not a real skilled packer. I think I put that in my resume. You might want to check that. And they don't like fish, you know. I don't like any uh, actual form of life where they can be enticed by a worm, with the possible exception <laughs> of my Aunt Bessie, who married Uncle Bernie, of course, a man with many worm-like qualities. <laughs> so you press Stop zero, zero. read that, and then you press zero again. Show me where zero is. Zero is that one. Right. <laughs> that one. Yeah, go. I start? Yeah. I don't know who you are. What you gotta do is throw in a little Texas whistle in there with those asses. <laughs> when you start to hear those asses start to creep on in. Won't you step outside to my AIR stream? I'll make you a margarita blow your horns off. About your workout plan, and I'm curious if you could just walk me through a little bit about what it takes to beat Dwayne Johnson. Oh, I'm glad you asked that question. First of all, you're uh, Kathleen from Screen Junkies, right? <laughs> I never forget a face, I never forget a thing. My mind's like a steel trap. Uh, you know, I wake up at uh, 5 a.m. and uh, do 27,000. <laughs> Rip curls, uh, bleed, blood, sweat, tears. That's the approach that I take to life. That's how I approach everything. Life is a delicious drink that you have to suck deep. Uh, there's no time like the present to enjoy your loved ones, your family, your things, that, the other thing. And then projects, I gotta go. <laughs> wow. That's a bit of Irish in it. There's no Irish in yours. Well, you Wilfred Brown, there's a little bit of Irish in there. That, that, You're that's, not doing the eyes like that's, that. That's Dr. Cotton from East No, Enders. that's not. That's yes, Wilfred Bramble. Oh, now you're just demented. You know, just calling up the mom of Frankie the Fish, Brock Obama.
I'd like to see if you could get some of the boys together and go over to, our, go over to Syria and take out ISIS. Yeah, sure thing, Mr. President. And we'd go over there and kick some heads for you. I got to let you know, they're a little scary. We're scary, too. Okay, Mr. President? Capiche, rubber chicken. <laughs> That joke would only work in New York. Capiche, rubber chicken. It makes no sense. Makes no sense. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you something, man. It was so fabulous. So good. So good. Hillary, total disaster. His voice is very, very gurgly. Hillary, he goes back here. And there's a lot of... So accessing sort of... Accessing sort of these the dark dungeons of my throat yeah. was necessary to play this Trump because he's not the smooth 80s. She's got beautiful legs. He's not really 80s Trump anymore. Remember 80s Trump? Yeah. 80s Trump. She's a very nice person. I'm looking forward to speaking with her. He's not that guy anymore. Man, she's beautiful and I'm gonna take over everything, baby. My wife and I were looking out on the lawn around midnight, and these guys were right there. Fully unclothed. Just imagine a basic conversation. Hey, Chris, I haven't seen you in a while. How's it going? Frankenstein never scared me. <laughs> right. <laughs> Marsupials do. Because they're fast. <laughs> now, I did use the hand. The hand, there's a lot of hands that the president used. You know, a lot of different gestures, as you know. The first one I noticed was sort of the hitchhiker, this one. Those people down over there doing that. And then there's two six guns up here doing that thing. And then the wandering index, that fella down there. <laughs> Put them together. And then the staple. <laughs> they kind of got... favorite show. <laughs> it's the only I love true crime shows. And Keith Morrison has that real folksy kind of way of talking. He's like, saw your, you saw your father shot in the face. <laughs> and I'm going, well, that must have been a while. <laughs> and uh, the other people on it I love is Josh Mankiewicz. Oh, wow. He, Josh Mankiewicz is the best because he kind of has, he kind of has a, like a stuffy nose. He, kinda, <laughs> he always go, he's always in Aruba. <laughs> it's like the guy killed someone in, in Cabo St. Lucas, that's mine. Like he always gets the best. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then he goes, uh, he always says, you could have a drinking game with this every time he'll go, he'll do this. He goes, so you found a dead, now most people when they find a dead body in their house, they call 911. <laughs> but you didn't do that, did you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I started um, as a waiter, and I would try out the impressions on the customers. That's yeah. how I first started. And it helped, because when you're a waiter and you bring the wrong order, you make a mistake. You just don't want to be yourself at that particular moment. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for example, one night this woman asked for rice uh, with her fish, very common order. I was in a hurry. I made a mistake, bought her baked potato. Well, she's screaming at me. She can't believe I bought her baked potato. I go, ah, excuse me, ma'am. Jeez, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I bring you baked potato? With fish? What the hell was I thinking? Impressions as well, Bradley, don't you? Sometimes, uh, if you want me to talk, I just... Uh, whatever comes into my head, I'll say. I don't know when or what it's gonna be. Is that your mom? <laughs> I call it the Secret Service as the president. Feel like going jogging tonight. In the nude. Give me dinner. Pass the sweet potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like the sweet potatoes, ma. <laughs> I look around the table, I don't see those sweet potatoes. <laughs> what do you want to do, ma? You want to play a game? You want to play a game, huh? I see the jello with the wallets, man. Every time you touch the jello goes down my throat, the wallets get stuck in my. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> And all this stuff, he sneaks in at the last minute, he does right. all this stuff, security brings us popcorn and stuff, you know, I'm like, he's trying to hide, you know. Right, right. Here you go, Mr. Jackson. You know. Yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, we watching the movie, he's the loudest person in there. Really? You know, he, yeah, he's watching the movie, like, hee hee. <laughs> <laughs> I said, 
10 o'clock. Would you shut up while people see you? <laughs> Sorry, it was yeah. funny. Chris. Yeah. Which Pacino do you specialize in? Is it well, an there's early? Two, aren't there? There's two. There's, there's kind of. There's the Pacino that. That took place in The Godfather right. years ago when he was a younger man. Right, right. And he speaks like, you know, you disrespect right. the family. Right. And then now, he sounds a lot older and much more loud. <laughs> I guess occasionally, yeah. he'll shout for no reason, like <laughs> loud, like that. No <laughs> God reason. Just a lot of yeah. random shouting, yeah. yeah. That's Sean Connery, my friend. Tomorrow we sail into history. And that's a very bad Sean Connery. Which is what because, you were doing, trying to do. Because you don't have the depth to do Sean Connery correctly. I have more fucking depth you, than you do. You don't have the depth. I do. Look you at try. This. Listen to you me. Try, you try to have the depth. But What's you wrong don't with your voice? Control. Have you had a stroke? Look at your mouth. Right. Well, that's well, your... Uh, uh, Jimmy, how long have you uh, and Ross been uh, hanging out? Did you know that uh, Ross and I used to, uh, uh, used to date? And then I think Monica would be like, not now, Rachel. Can you give me your best impression of someone famous? Yeah, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? The story Eric's talking about is very interesting. It's a little Jeff Goldblum kind of like. Mm hmm Aha! If, if someone categorized ah, your... Yes, yes, yes. Go on, go on. <laughs> if someone categorized your audience as being stoners, how would you... Like stone, what do you mean stone? What, 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 what do you mean do by stone? Do you feel like your comedy stone. falls into the... What do you mean by stoned? <laughs> That's pretty good. What do you mean by stoned? Well, Jeff. Like a... A, 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 a rock? <laughs> hmm. Oh, I see, yes. Hmm. Well, that's interesting, yes. Wow. When you're in a Clint Eastwood movie, you don't even know the camera's rolling, and you just hear over your shoulder, all right, go ahead. <laughs> and I get to my Mike Tyson joke, and that's where I usually like, get a standing ovation, and when I get to the joke, nobody laughs. You know why? Because Mike Tyson is in the building. And it was crazy, because that's when Mike Tyson was like knocking people out for just smiling, going through the drive-thru with Kentucky Fried Chicken. Hi, this is Mike Tyson. Welcome to Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah, can I get uh, chicken and biscuit and some slaw? What's that you say, sir? I'm like, I want slaw, I want slaw, lots of slaw. <laughs> anyway, the joke goes over, it's a standing ovation, and then Mike comes up to me, there he is! And I actually hung out with Mike during all those times. Mike was so rich, he had Lamborghini trucks. He'd be in the club, the girls, like, you like BMWs? They'd be like, yeah, he just go buy a bushel of BMWs. <laughs> yeah, give me a bushel with BMWs and, and add floor. What? <laughs> Can you just drop that for a second? Yeah. Vanessa, come on. Oh, sorry, Jen. I, I think we've just got to move on. I thought, because I, I do this great bit as Rachel. <laughs> is it a great bit, though? I mean, <laughs> kind of just sounds like all you're doing is like, what? Oh, what? Me? Oh, wow. Is it like this? No. What? Wow. I don't do oh. that. Babes. Oh. Is they're going um, to break. Yeah, what does he do when they go to break? He's like, well, when we come back, we're going to talk about the DNA. <laughs> oh, that pesky <laughs> DNA. <laughs> <laughs> Which is another thing he actually said. Yeah. Hi! <laughs> Trick or treat. That's a damn good question. <laughs> Quite the conundrum, <laughs> little dudes, that you've put forth on this Hallow's Eve. <laughs> Having said that, my young costumed friends, <laughs> as fate would have it, I too have a question. <laughs> Which one of you little jerks can guess what I've buried under my house? <laughs> hey kids, where you going? Look, I hate to go back and I do the do the do uh, fuck again. Just... Well, let me just ask you something, John, if I can. <laughs> I don't mean to bother you. Jeez, I'm sorry. So get some minutes, I feel like Billy Barty up here. 
kind of short down in this area down here. Would love to be up here, but I'm down here. The way to do the president is to start out with Mr. Rogers. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Then you add a little John Wayne. Here we go, let's go over the ridge. You put them together, you got George Herbert Walker Bush. That's the thing that...